Yes, my beard is messier than normal. I wanted to talk a little more about my spirituality, and I think I might have a little, few more ways of explaining it that might make it make a little more sense to people. Basically, I believe that the universe has a universal collective consciousness to it. And yes, that sounds kind of sci-fi, and it kind of is to some degree, but it's, it's, it's the way I view things. I kind of think the universe is like living thought, and we are just a part of that. Okay, let's get even a little bit more sci-fi with it. Uh, think of Avatar. Think of those ponytail things they have. They, they, at the ends of them, they can interface with, with, with other things that have those ponytail things, right? Um, imagine if they could point it in the sky and they, they would be able to tap into the universe instead of, you know, this, these, just the things that have to do with the planet that they're on, right? Picture that, okay? That is what we can do at any time. It's feeling a connection. It's not like talking with someone. It's not like having a conversation. You can't pray to it. Praying to it doesn't do anything. That's just pointless. It's just a connection. I think that this collective consciousness is something that any of the religions that have this, this idea that you can feel God's presence or you feel the power of the Holy Spirit or you feel Allah, or Allah uh, uh, makes you feel like this, or whatever. Um, any of those sorts of beliefs, to me, are really just tapping into this collective consciousness. But they want to put a lot of rules on it. Man-made rules. They want to have these rituals. It's like people have to have rituals in order to to get this connection. They, they, can't, they can't just look at, let's connect to the universe. No, they have to have all these, all this <sighs> fripperies. I don't know. They just, all this stuff that's just so unnecessary to me. Most of all, people seem to want to anthropomorphize it. And it just seems so silly to me. Yes, let's anthropomorphize the universe. The universe is a person. Come on. Religious books are the middleman. Why do we need a middleman? The more that I do things that I know in my heart are the right thing to do, the more I do those things, the more connected I feel to this collective consciousness. When I do something that I know is wrong, that I know just would be negative in an unnecessary way. I could be hurting someone. Um, and not just a could, just a thing of, uh, just this just isn't right. Just... Then that takes me away from the collective consciousness. The more I am myself, the more I, I'm doing what I know is right, the more connected I feel. And, you know, there aren't any rules with this. It's just, it's just doing what I know is right. And to me, a lot of the religions out there are trying to teach that same thing. They're trying to get people to, to do what's right. But instead of making people look within, they're making people follow these sets of rules as if people are too stupid to be able to figure this, figure out what's right and wrong on their own. Now, there may be a lot of people out there that are too stupid or, or just don't have the sense to figure this stuff out, and that's sad. But in this in this day and age, when we we, we have all the knowledge we do about, well, I mean, it's not all the knowledge. It's made it sound like it's oh, we have all the knowledge. No, which just, just the fact that we have the knowledge that we do about about science, about the way things work, about the universe, the things that we know. Um, it just seems like it's time to move on from these, f from the idea of, of, of all these rituals and, and traditions that don't really mean anything. Now, you can follow them. Follow them. If, if it, if, it, here's the thing, I, I, that made, that sounded really judgmental, what I just said. Um, if it works for you, if 
the method that you use to get this this connection if 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 this works for you you know and you're not judging others negatively you're not making fun of people you're not you're not trying to make anyone's life miserable hey who am i to judge that if it's working for you and that's how you feel your connection just go with it keep going with it now if you're one of those types that you are judging people you're making a lot of people's lives miserable yeah i really wish you types that do that really would just drop this all these traditions and rituals and rules and just figure out that uh, you don't have to be so hateful some people can live under those rules and not be judgmental of other people and some people can't the ones that can't do that the ones that have to judge everyone the ones that can't just live their own lives without meddling in the affairs of everyone else those are the people that are the problem and they're not in the majority as much as we we think they are they're not in the majority they're just the ones that are heard the loudest i personally think for myself my path and this may not be the same path for everyone else um, but I would hope it, it is. I would hope this is the way it is, but I don't know. Is that we are here to, one, continue life, and two, to make our lives and other people's lives happier, to try to improve things. That's my belief. I have nothing to back it up. There's, there's nothing rational or logical for me to come to this conclusion. It's just how I feel. And again, this whole relationship with this collective consciousness just sort of makes that kind of thing stronger. For me, this is this is the my way of, of, of feeling that. Now maybe there's some people that um maybe there's some people who actually can get to this collective consciousness and they might be able to somehow do things they know are bad and still have this feeling of the collective consciousness. I can't fathom it. I can't even fathom it because it just seems so contrary to it. But maybe some people can. What am I saying? No, religion, unfortunately, organized religion can tend to do this to people a lot. It can make people who would normally do really great things it can take people who are good people and it can make them do terrible things because of the rules it's unfortunate but this is why i can relate with religious people this is why i will not give up my connection to the collective consciousness again i won't do it I know that I just think it's sad that people can't feel it that people don't have this connection and if you are <clears throat> if you are one of these people who can't feel it and you just assume you make these assumptions that oh it's just this you're just feeling this you're just look you know the feeling when you feel it period you know the feeling it's not, you know when, when you have this connection, it is not something you can just, it, it's, it's unlike anything else. If you felt it, if you feel it, you don't want to live without it. If you haven't felt it, you wonder how deranged people are in feeling it, but I'm sorry. We're, we're not messed up for feeling this. I just think it's sad that you can't feel it. I think that's sad. But, you know, whatever works for people, if not feeling it and not believing in anything, if that works for you, great. That's great. 